Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I thought I would do a little reaction video to some pretty sickening things I've seen on the internet. Uh, people eating live animals. Now first, I want to talk about the intelligence and sentience of these animals. Because I know there's people out there like, Who cares? Fish don't feel pain. Even though that would be ridiculous if a fish couldn't feel pain. I mean, why would they even escape pain how would they survive as a species if, if they didn't have a mechanism to protect them from danger and hurting themselves doesn't make any sense let's look at an octopus here like so this is an octopus and what the octopus is doing here is this is a coconut shell the octopus is using this coconut shell as a little protective shell because you know the octopus doesn't have any shielding it's, look at this look at this smart little smart little thing here hello Look at this smart animal, using it as a tool. Look, walking around with it, keeping it as a tool to use. Look at this, hiding inside two coconut shells to make a full coconut. <laughs> How smart, how smart and intelligent. Obviously trying to defend themselves from something, you know, if they can't feel pain, why would they even try, try to like defend themselves? That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense, but you know, people don't use logic when it comes to animals. They're just looking for a reason to kill and eat them. Here's another amazing display of, of octopus intelligence. Now, just, just these cephalopods, what they do is they change color and shape to mimic their environment. They're, they're like alien intelligent creatures, these are. Super intelligent animals. Enki is an eight-legged escapologist. Enki being such an inquisitive octopus, was able to uh, work out that he could get out through the, a little gap in the lid and make his way across the floor, down a drain full of seawater, and back out to sea. Sounds like a stupid creature, doesn't it? What a what an insanely stupid creature that doesn't feel pain or experience anything inside of its own consciousness and has no desires or doesn't desire freedom or to escape pain or anything. Not. These animals are intelligent, didn't want to be in captivity, found a way to escape this aquarium, and make it back out into the ocean. Here we go, look at this. Another, another octopus trying to escape. Here, must think something's up. Here's one, here's one, unscrewing a lid. Unscrew it in a lid in a jar. Smarter than some humans, can't even do that. And here's one here. Look, escaping the, the, the deck of a boat, trying to get out of there. Catch you later. So here's this article here. Yes, the octopus is smart as heck, but why? Eight arms, three hearts. I've even seen some of them have like nine brains so one in their head and one in each arm which is crazy so the arms sort of have a mind of their own each arm these are highly intelligent animals it suggests that the octopus is carrying these tools around because it has some understanding that they may be useful to them in the sh in the future so this was this this uh octopus here with the coconut how cute and cool you know so so they they're they're thinking ahead these animals they're conscious of the dangers in their environment they're camouflaging themselves okay so why the hell would they have all these intelligent, complex responses but can't feel pain? People who say that, I just, you know, it, it shows a human being's lack of intelligence to deny the intelligence of animals um, and sentience of animals. So here we go. Let's just look at this lady here. She's a mukbang lady, and she's about to do something to a live octopus here. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen, like, any other animal be so f afraid of their own food. Like, why is she so afraid of this octopus if this is, in fact, supposed to be her food? She shouldn't be reacting like that. <gasps> She's crying and everything. This is really insane. <laughs> she must be a true carnivore, this one. Wow, a, a lion. She must be a lion. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I think she's pouring salt on these animals here, which would be extremely painful. Look at them reacting to that pain. Like this would be. This must be horrible for those animals. Can't, can't escape that jar, and there's just salt all over them. Now this octopus is trying to fight back. Look at this. The octopus is falling on the floor. 
how, to, how, how horrible and upsetting. <laughs> the octopus is finally starting to die, probably. Just putting salt all over this animal. Must burn the skin. Imagine rubbing salt in your eyes. There she is eating this animal. Look at these animals trying to fight back here. Look at them trying to fight back. They're scared. Squirting, trying to defend themselves. Oh, she's cut the head off of these. She doesn't look like she she doesn't look like she's really enjoying killing these animals here. Um, she looks very squeamish. She's you know this doesn't look like her natural food. Do you ever see someone eating an apple get all squeamish like that? You know plants all, oh plants feel pain. Yeah no nothing like this. So she just poured like salty soya sauce over these animals who are still clearly feeling something. Like, I wonder what it would feel like if we cut off her arm and then we poured soy sauce all over the wound. I wonder if she would like that. That sounds really, really sickening. And disg- Oh my god. Well, yeah, I mean, to me that's... That's really horrible, um, you know, knowing like, like what we know about these animals and fish can feel pain in a similar way to humans, study concludes. A study led by Dr. N Lynn Snedden, an expert in animal biology, showed that fish can exhibit symptoms such as, such as hyperventilating and long-term behavioral changes after a painful experience. So scientists reviewed 98 studies on fish pain to come to the conclusion that the animals do feel pain in a comparable way to mammals. If we accept fish experience pain, then this has important impl implications for how we treat them. I don't agree with her conclusion, so uh, Snedden says steps should be taken to make sure fish are humanely caught and killed impossible to humanely kill anyone but she's recognized fish feel pain this is a 2019 research i believe so it all the current research is pointing towards fish feeling pain now let's look at this image here this is uh, octopus getting a little bit of revenge here <laughs> That's what you get for trying to eat these poor animals. Bitter in the face. Look at this. Look at this. And she's got a bit of a cut on her face. What did you expect? What did you expect to happen? Seriously, like, you ever had an apple or a banana bite back like that? Try to rip your face off? This octopus is trying to defend uh, their self. That's what this octopus is trying to do. The animals get their karma back. Not just here, this octopus is biting this lady's face. I have, I have literally no sympathy for this lady whatsoever. But animals also get their revenge in another way. The number one killer of human beings with about 17 million people killed every year is heart disease. And saturated fat and cholesterol is rampant in animal products and people eat these animal products, which torture and kill animals. And they're dying of heart attacks at a massive rate. Look at this as well. This is a li another live animal market here. Um, this is a frog. Here we go. Here's a frog stabbing the frog in the throat, cutting their head off. Um, and here, here the frog is in a plate. Um, still moving. Who knows what this frog is experiencing right here. The brain is still connected to the arms. Yeah, and she's just completely disconnected and eating this animal. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this fish is still alive. Um, and has been cooked. Partly cooked. And the fish is still moving, trying to breathe. So again, these animals, they have nerves, they have pain receptors, they have a brain. Their brain might be different to ours. They still experience pain, suffering. They try to avoid it. It only makes sense. If you're someone who is out there and you do eat animals, right? I just want you to think about this. Yeah, these animals are alive. It's more cruel to eat someone while they're still alive. I'd want to be shot in the head first before I was eaten. But what is happening to those animals along the line that you might not see? You're paying for these animals that you eat to be tortured and killed as well. I don't think there's any difference between 
there's any real morally significant difference between this person eating live animals and you paying for animals to be tortured before they're killed anyway, and you coming along and eating their flesh. You're still responsible for all the torture the animal goes through. You just don't see it. These individuals do see it. They're, they're facing the animals. Um, they're more, I guess, they're a lot more connected to the process. Um, but they have to be more disconnected from the animal suffering to be so connected to the process, but so disconnected from the suffering. I mean, I just don't understand how that is. They must just look at animals like they don't feel anything. With they must, like I just feel like people look at animals with such contempt and with such disregard that they can't even, you know, put themselves in the animal's position for one second to imagine what the, the pain they're going through because they just don't even think animals matter at all, especially sea animals, which are by far the most tortured and killed animal on earth. Somewhere between one to 2.7 trillion marine animals are tortured and killed um, for people's taste pleasure. So I wanna leave you with something that is probably one of the most horrific things I've seen um, in terms of eating animals. Uh, it's one of the most, I'm not gonna say it's the most. What it is is this, it looks like a an adult, you know, industry worker here eating a live chicken in front of an audience for what looks like money in return, but this chicken is alive. The chicken's beak is opening and closing. Look at it. it's really violent and horrible. There she is chewing through a live chicken. Now, anyone out there who eats chicken thinks they're a carnivore, thinks they're a lion, and that disgusts you, what she just did. She ate a live chicken while they were still fully conscious. The animal was suffering, and this is exactly how, you know, carnivores in the wild eat their prey. If you think you're such a carnivore and you can't do that, you're a hypocrite. If you think that what these people here are doing to the animals is evil and you eat animals yourself, you are a hypocrite. This isn't a video to say, hey, you people overseas are more evil to animals than we are over here. Not at all. All animal abuse and all torture of animals and killing of animals is evil when you're doing it for such an unnecessary reason like food. We can easily eliminate the animal exploitation, completely minimize all harm and killing done to animals by living a vegan lifestyle. Animals have displayed intelligence. The science is on the side that they feel pain. Um, people are making money off of eating, you know, these live animals in mukbangs. I see a lot of animal eaters from, say, different different cultures pointing to, you know, things done to animals in other countries saying that it's evil when they pay for animals to be tortured and killed for their food as well. Um, here's some the animals getting a little bit of karma, defending themselves from humans from their evil ways. And finally, this person here eating a live chicken, one of the most horrible things I've seen. You know, poor bird, that bird's death was horrible, really horrible. But if you've seen a chicken slaughterhouse in any other country, you know, a chicken farm in any other country, these places are just as bad, just as horrible. There's no humane way to kill any animals, you know, to take someone's life from them when they desire to live. That's my video. These live animal eaters, uh, they shouldn't, you know, pr be able to be promoting this type of animal torture and killing on YouTube. I don't know why YouTube allow these videos to be monetized and shared with millions of people. This lady's got 3.5 million followers. Um, you know, I, they, they're promoting violence, basically. I'll have my video censored for showing violence when I'm trying to, you know, talk about and educate about the cruelty. My video will be censored and my channel might even be censored. But these channels here who are promoting violence and promoting hunting and promoting live animal eating, um, their videos and channels are being recommended, you know, to so many people. So many people love watching this and they're laughing. They're laughing at this animal suffering. They're laughing at the lady squirming. You know, they're getting entertainment from people eating live animals. You know, this is all, you know... Just all pe human beings getting pleasure from the suffering of animals, treating animals with contempt, intelligent animals who deserve the right to life. What do you guys think down below? This is disgusting, is it? Or do you, you're, you think it's totally morally acceptable? Lions eat meat, so it's okay for us to do this to animals. Um, animals kill other animals in nature, so what these people are doing is completely fine. Animal eating is totally fine and, you know, necessary. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's completely unjustified and cruel. We don't, there's no, there's no need to do this to animals, especially animals who are still alive. Um, I just think there's no need to do this to animals. Uh, they're sentient, feel pain, suffer, want to live. What type of sick world are we living in?